I tried Realme UI 3.0 on Mi 11X, one of the standard devices which is having the flagship processor and Mi 11X is a good device if you want to use these kind of custom rooms. This is a good option. There are good options available for you. Realme UI 3.0 is a ported custom room available for this device. I tried it. I installed this and I will talk about some of my experiences after installing this thing on my device. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. If I move on to some basic details you can see we are having android android 12 and android 12 is quite good of course android 13 based real UI or maybe color OS android 13 is also present for this device as a ported room and i'll try to install that and we'll make a video on that too so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe the channel for more content like this moving on to the things which are included by default as it is realme ui 3.0 so some realme features of course are there and if you want to take a look at some default features of realme ui 3.0 youtube.com google.com is already here for you i found some of the options are just similar to my device like i am using oneplus device oneplus not 2t as my daily driver so some of the features are just kind of same like you have the recent task manager the quick settings panel in my opinion in my personal opinion it's just super good i mean i miss the android 11 style quick settings panel if i use aosp based customs even with my oxygen os 12 quick settings panel looks good but this one is little bit more advanced and this looks good with this kind of ui it actually looks amazing also after installing this thing it doesn't feel like it's lagging at all i mean of course mi 11x is having 120 hertz it's having good kind of processor but it's actually super smooth it's just too smooth after using this thing i'm not feeling like i'm using a ported rom it's looking like i'm using a device a realme device that's this something really interesting one we also have this media output option available in this quick settings panel which looks good and in my oxygen os 12 i mean i'm using oneplus device this option is not present there but that's of course okay it's totally up to you if i move on to the options in camera it's not having the realme camera pre-installed it's not having the oppo oneplus no it's like it is having the gcam pre-installed and it's not a bad thing to be honest i mean gcam is one of the best cams out there and if it is pre-installed it's good also this gcam port which i am using in this one which is by default included is quite stable one i tried it on my other devices too even with android 12 13 it's just working perfectly fine so yes this is quite good including that after using this thing we have some realme apps available those are quite impressive of course we have this weather app which is having these options the ui of this weather app is actually quite good you will able you'll be able to see the 15 day weather forecast if you want to it is also having their own theme store but as expected all the themes are paid yes some are free too but those are not of any use and also after using even my oneplus device as we just mentioned that i'm using oneplus device as my daily driver that is also not usable in the terms of theming section in the terms of theming i don't think so you will be able to compare it with miui miui is far better than other devices in the terms of theming as far as i know of course i've used miui most of the times so i think so it's good moving on to other options we have some wallpaper section from realme we have theming options as it just mentioned one theme is already pre-installed but that's none of use icons which you can customize this is the same ui which is available in my device too so it's almost same and i think so i will make a comparison video on my device from this one too or maybe with color was 13 if it is available i try to make a video on that one too we have these eit plus icons option quick setting styles which you can customize on so the terms of customization by the way this is not a modified custom room it's properly oem port from realme so these options are by default included in that one so by default in stock rooms or these oem skins are providing these features miui real miui oxygen os color OS, these these skins are actually quite good in the terms of customizations these are far better than aosp in some cases not every time but in some cases exceptions are always there we have some fonts options available i tried using some fonts these are good you can't purchase or buy with this one some of the minor bugs here and there as i just mentioned some of the time like this is uh, face unlock which is just not working at all 
and i'm talking about this port for me 11x the link will be available in the description so if you want to install this thing credits and links i will provide everything in the description although i tried using fingerprint fingerprint was too fast let me show you by installing and checking it out okay this is how fingerprint is working perfectly fine face unlock is not working but as i always say in my custom room videos i don't use face unlock so i think so most of the users should not have problem because fingerprint is there it's good it also have the very good mode called performance mode i use it on my oneplus device too and this is quite good and it's just increased battery consumption by the way i'm not sure if it actually in in real terms if performance increases or not i mean i haven't found a major difference as i'm using oneplus on my on my personal device i tried this option but i'm still not sure if it is actually working fine or not also it is also having this kind of sidebar or you can say smart sidebar maybe it's almost same like xiaomi's sidebar but it's a little bit advanced it is having more options this is called smart sidebar as you can see this option is by default enabled in this one if you want to disable this thing you can totally do that very easily some options which are included like this you can simply drag and drop to enable this split screen which looks quite impressive if you are a multitasking user you will love these things so these are the things which are included i will not show you the installation steps by the way the link for this file and everything is available in the description by the way this option is also not working called otg connection i'm not sure if otg is actually working fine or not but this option is at least not working so some things which i just want to let you know i have already shared with you and this was about my experience about installing this realme ui experiencing realme ui 3.0 in xiaomi i found this thing very useful that's why i have shared this thing on my channel right now and these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this we'll make a new video very soon stay tuned and thanks for watching goodbye